Because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> This one. Right. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Both guys still truly trying to find their range. Back to the hook now. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Out of range with that one. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good body work with that hook by Lee.
Good work, guys. Keeping him honest with the jab. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh! Jab gets through. One minute. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now. Oh, God. Five minutes in the books. All right, sit down for me, bud. That was perfect. Everything you threw out there backing up was landing. Your counterfighting is looking awesome. Keep that. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, back and forth we go. Good jab there by the champion. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Low kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Let's go, look for that takedown. Eats a jab there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nasty body kick downstairs. Well, missed on that one. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Immediately gets the underhook. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, and now an uppercut. Nice shot there by the champ. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you yeah. come high kick, then you're in a lot of trouble. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That left hook was nasty. Give me a double leg. Look at it. Look at it. Now shoot, shoot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 
Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds? Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Head kick is blocked. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. It's a nice jab by him there. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice kick. Doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Just unable to quite find that range. Big power shot there. Another hook lands there by Lee. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big shot to the body. Oh, and he found the target again. Final seconds of the round. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. It's got to change something. We have arrived at the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary 
right proposition for the opponent. He looked for that knee. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored. Oh, oh with authority, the body. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, nice. Nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Able to check that kick as well. Clean punch. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Less than two minutes now to go. Let your hands go. Let those Just misses there with the left. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Flipped him with the jab. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. you got to check these kicks right now, or that's going to happen. 30 seconds to go now. 20 seconds left. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eyes, sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge Ready. knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. But he's... Oh, flying knee to the head! He missed with that jab attempt there. Left punches there for him. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both guys are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, what a hit kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Cannot take too many of those. Oh, uppercut. Oh, nice kick. 
jab, snaps the head back. The fighters separate. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Yeah. Nice little shot. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. And blocks that hard punch. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few 